The EsoTech thermal insulation panel is delivered packaged in a UV-resistant waterproof polyethylene film. Once on the pitch of the roof, open the packaging as shown in any weather situation. Even in the case of rain, the panel maintains its characteristics. The panel is made up of a core in rigid polyurethane foam, is covered on both sides with an embossed aluminium foil and comes with a steel stiffener inserted directly during production. EsoTech is available in thicknesses of 60, 80, 100, 120 and 160 millimeters. The pitch varies from 180 to 690 millimeters. Fix a wooden batten with a height equal to the thickness of the panel along the gutter line. The batten also acts as the first blocking point of the gutter canal. Place an insulating layer of butyl tape between the batten and gutter. In case of covering in tiles or pantiles, trim the panel on the longitudinal side. The starting piece will be the same height as the thickness of the Isotec panel. Fix the panel with expansion plugs for brick structures or self-tapping screws if the supporting structure is made of iron and with anchor bolts on wooden structures. Space the fixings about one meter apart. It is important to always fix the panels on the flat rear part of the metal stiffener. Seal the side joints of the panels, shaped like a dovetail, with single component silicon before wedging them together. Once the panel has been laid and fixed, waterproof the joint with butyl aluminium tape. Continue with the second row, starting with a full pitch panel and shortening it to reduce its length so that the side joints are staggered with respect to the first row. The panel can be cut in two stages using a rigid blade saw for the foam part and a flexible disc blade for the metal part or in one stage with a flexible disc blade. Before fixing the panel, pull the panel towards the one underneath it so that it aligns perfectly with the batten. Follow this sequence for the next rows. Reuse the cut portions of the panel for the next row. Proceed in the same way for the sheets until arriving at the top of the pitch. Near the ridge line, complete the flashing with a panel that has been shaped according to the dimensional requirements of the flashing itself. Fill the joint between the closing panels of the ridge line and the joint near the side closure with polyurethane foam. Then trim the excess foam and waterproof with butyl aluminium tape. Create the support of the last row of ridge tiles with a special stiffener fixed to the underlying structure. Fix the under ridge brackets to the flat part of the roof stiffener. Install and then anchor the under ridge plate by inserting it into the appropriate tongues located at the top of the brackets. Anchor the side flashing to the wooden batten, which should have the same thickness as the panel, located near the side closure. Along the gutter line, use the special ventilated strip to also ensure continuity of the slope when laying the first row of tiles on the gutter line. Join all the protruding parts of the roof, such as chimneys, exhaust flues, dormer windows, etc., to the Ezotec panel using polyurethane foam. Then. Place an upside-down V-shape upstream of the protruding part to protect it. Cover everything with butyl aluminium tape. The Isotec panel can be installed on all types of structures, both continuous and discontinuous. The panel can be installed on different slopes depending on the type of cladding chosen, starting from a slope of 1% in combination with snap-on metal sheets, from 5% in combination with standing seam metal sheets, from 7% with corrugated or crimped metal sheets, from 10% 
with specific tiles for low slopes. From 15% with fibro cement or fibro bitumen sheets, starting from 30% in combination with traditional, special or slate tiles.